guys what's up so today what I'm gonna do is just a little get ready with me hopefully it'll be a talk through video because the one I posted last time it was just a little bit way too long so I had to cut it into half and that's why it was super speed so I was just showing what I was using I couldn't talk through it but anyhow let's jump right in before I start rambling um so what I'm going to start off to do is I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Foundation. Um, I use, I mix them both. I use the shade 4 and the shade 5. Uh, 5 is a little bit too orange for me. And uh, shade number 4 is a little bit too light for me. So that's why I mix them both. And um, once they're mixed, it kind of gives me like an all right type of... Um, type of tone so that's what I'm doing and I just am mixing it in the palm of my hand I did wash my hands FYI um, I did wash my hands so they are clean um, I had already primed and prepped my face so and I forgot to record it um, but I did that right when I washed my face this morning okay so there's the foundation and I am going to start off, we'll do the eyebrows later. I'm going to start off um, concealing, so it's the sharp, the Shape Tape um, Concealers. And I'm using the shades Light Medium, and I'm using Light Sand. Um, so I'm just going to go with those. And the same thing with these, I'm using two of them because I feel that um, one of them is too light and the other one is too dark. So I'm just going to mix both of them. And I look weird. All right. And I'm going to go back in with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm going to use the, uh, the other end of it and just to blend out the concealer underneath. So next, I'm going to use my Cover FX um, setting powder and I'm just going to set my eye my under eye <laughs> i'm just gonna drop some onto the lid i'm just gonna pick some up with the angle side of it and just set that and i'm just dragging the rest of the excess powder onto my pore zone because that's the problem that I have um, these pores make me so oily so I'm just gonna try to um, just move everything else that's left over down this way down to where the t-zone is at so all this right here up the forehead and down down to the chinny chin chin. <laughs> okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Mac, um, my Mac powder, the powder foundation, and I'm just gonna set my face. You should be looking something like this. <laughs> I'm gonna take my butter bronzer, and this one is from Physicians Formula. I got it at, I don't know, I think I got it at CVS. It's a really pretty color. And I'm gonna be using my little brush. It's the crown brush that I got on my BoxyCharm, the little fan, a big fan brush. So, just warming up the face, just a little itty bitty. I mean, I ain't going nowhere fancy or anything like that. Okay, and it's a really pretty shade. Okay, so luego I'm going to take my Morphe E4 brush. It's the little blush brush. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I can't even talk right. Okay, and I'm going to be using the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. And I love, I love this shade right here in the middle. I already hit pan because I love it so much. I forgot what it's called. Is it Amaretto? Amaretto, something like that. But this color is so pretty, I love it. And then whatever's left on the brush, I just put on the temples of my forehead and I just drag everything down the neck, chest, so I can look like the same color. Yes, no, something like that. 
Okay, so there's the blush. Now moving on to the eyes. I am going to use my, um, it's this one, the MAC, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to just use the, um, I'm just going to use my fingertips. I love applying it with my fingertips. I've applied it with um, like different synthetic brushes and I feel like it leaves it streaky. And the eye area is super sensitive. So um, I just prefer to use my fingers. You can use whatever you want. Whatever's easier for you. Um, anything will work. Okay, so. Ahí está la base, pues. De los ojos. Can you see it? It's white. It kind of looks like a concealer. And I'm just gonna use whatever comes out. I'm gonna use this palette. It's from Studio Studio Makeup On The Go. And it's a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of look to it, because I use it all the time. <laughs> look how mugroso it is. Está bien sucio. Who cares? And I'm using my little blending brush. I'm using the Morphe E23 blending brush. And I'm just gonna go in with that lighter shade just to set the just to set the base so I could um, blend out the other eyeshadows um, a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing first. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, it's a really pretty brownie, orangey type of shade. And I'm just going to buff it in. I'm going in circular motions. And I'm just dragging it all the way out. Um... So that way my eyeshadow doesn't look like it got cut off in the middle of the eye. So I'm just dragging it all the way out. So I'm doing buffing motion, motion, circular motions, and I'm doing um like windshield uh swiper motion. So bye bye circle, 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 something like that. <laughs> okay, and then the same thing to the other side. Just buffing this little sucker in. And then this is on the crease of the eye. Um, and this one's just the transition shade. So the other colors that I'm going to lay on top um, will be nice and blended. Something like that. I'm going to go back in. Blend, blend, blend. Circle, circle, circle. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Morphe brush, and it's the M433. I don't know if it'll put in bed, but that's the number, 433. And the bristles on it are different. I'm going to go in with this darker shade. It kind of looks like a little chocolate, dark chocolate. It's almost going to look black, but it's not. I'm just going to put this on the outer edge of the eye. Let me see. Just so it could give it a little more dimension. Can you see it? Poquito. And I'm just going to go dip in little by little. I'm going to start building that color up because I don't want it to look super, super harsh. So you just got to blend it. I'm just doing the same motions, just uh, circular motions and back and forth. All right. So you should look something like this. Okay, I'm going to take this other little brush and it's just like a little flat brush. Um, which one should I use? I don't know. Okay, I'll take the lighter shade that's up here. It's a little shimmery and a little powdery. Um, now I'm just going to put that on the lid of the eye. Um, let's see. Little palette for my BoxyCharm. And I love it. I use it every single day, every single week, literally. This is like my little go-to palette. I also do have the Morphe 350 palette. But I prefer this one because it's kind of small. It's compacted. It's easy to grab. El otro está poquito más grande. And it's like harder to hold up and show. So I like this one a lot. A lot. Um, maybe on my next future video that I'll do, I'll probably be doing like a like a boxy charm unboxing type of thing because I really love that that subscription. Um, they send like known like brand stuff and they also send like brands like this that I didn't even know of and that are really good. Um, 
So just so I could expand my, mira nomás, se me atoró. It's magnetic, so it got stuck in there. That was funny. What the hell? Um, so anyhow, so I'm thinking I could do that. Um, that really helps with my makeup collection. I just received like random stuff that I would have never bought bought because I wouldn't have known of them. So with them sending you stuff, you get to try out new stuff, new products. You branch out to other stuff. Okay, so next I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade. And it's in the color Chocolate. Um, this is the one that Aiden got into. I don't know if you guys saw my pictures. <laughs> My little travieso, my pequeño travieso. He's not a pequeño travieso. I think what it is, I'll give my son the benefit of the doubt, like I always do to most people. Um, he's curious. He's just a curious little kid. That's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out the brows. Can you guys see? <laughs> All right, pues ahí voy. He's just curious. He is very curious. Or he's about to turn two. So he's getting into that terrible two stage. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. One of the two. But I think que nomás lo alcanzó a meter como un, unos dos deditos. And I think he knows. He's smart. He knows that he's going to get in trouble for what he did. And I think he was trying to wipe it off and he made it worse. The same day that he got into my dip brow, um, talking about BoxyCharm, it, um, they did like a sneak peek. They do sneak peeks of what they're going to send for this month's box. And it had like a, it had like a little like an eyebrow product, like a new eyebrow product. So I was like, oh my God, Ugh. God knew I needed that. I needed to try something new. This month's box, I feel like BoxyCharm stepping up their game um, with the subs other subscriptions that are out there. I wanted to try another subscription. Now I'm just sticking with the BoxyCharm, which I really love. And I'm also doing the the Sephora play box. My Nina, you bet wrote me something. Um, I don't know. I'll read it later, Nina. She's in Mexico. Está en Guadalajara. Um, That's a hugs and kisses to my Nina in Guadalajara. Ahí están las cejas. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's all right. Not too shabby, I guess. Work into this palette. I need to highlight my brow bone. And it's this one right in here. Mm, just going to go like that. Mm, like that. Oil with my little hula. My hula bronzer. I'm just going to contour my nose. Uh, something like that. Okay. Put mascara on. And I'm missing my highlighter. Why does this happen to me? Clumpy. All right. I'm missing some lips. And I'm going to be using my Stila. My Stila. My Stila Matte Liquid Lipstick. And it's called Beso. This one was one of the little pricks that I got from Sephora. Like that. I'm going to go back in with the Jaclyn Hill. Um, let's see, Mira. Jaclyn Hill Becca Little Kits. And I'm going to use this shade, the Champagne Pop. Um, wait, hold that thought. Before anything, I'm just going to spray with the Smashbox uh, Little Water. So it could give me some highlight. Ooh, you see that? Mm, 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 mm. I know you see that. Voila. And just on the nose. My setting spray. This one's the Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh, goodness, I love this part. So refreshing. <laughs>